Hi everyone. This is a red alert. I want you to consider something very, very serious with what's going on with the pipeline. Understand that if, a big if, if they decide to postpone setting that pipeline back up, getting it running, if we go another week with that pipeline down, understand that there will be panic buying, hard panic buying. I want you to really, really think about that. So this last Friday, today's Tuesday, that pipeline was shut down. They're saying it's for this and that and, you know, um, malware or whatever, ransomware and stuff like that, and blaming it on Russia, of course. Regardless of the reason, it shut down. And the way our whole system is designed, we truly do re really depend on that, right? Trucks of food is not coming to the grocery stores if the price of gas is so high that drivers will be losing money instead of making money. They won't be able to afford. They'll put their hands up. Many are doing that already. From what I'm gathering, big corporations that have truckers and whatnot, they can float and front the money and deal with it, hoping for better times. The pip pipeline will be cut on and then start gaining money and earning money and making money. But if the prices get too, too high, this whole nation will come to a stop. Remember what Biden did when he first came into office with the whole Keystone Pipeline? Remember? And then now with this, and I believe it's two or maybe even three other pipelines that just got shut off, a, an another two or three of them. Everything, even your electric bill is going to go up high, I mean sky high, because electric companies depend on oil to keep your power running, right? Same thing with water municipal water they rely on electricity to keep the keep the water pumping to your home everything will go sky high if they if 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 I'm not trying to do like some fear porn or anything I'm just saying think ahead on this prepare for the worst hope for the best if they don't get this pipeline up and running and everything cool we got about another week there will be absolutely no gas anywhere to get, and food will stop coming to them stores. And there'll be panic buying, absolute, complete, absolute chaos. And so this is reminding me of the prophetic dream the Lord gave me about panic buying. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to happen right now in a week. I'm saying it's possible. Me, personally, because of that prophetic dream and, of course, the Word of God, I'm waiting and I'm watching for whenever this particular dream comes to comes true, gets fulfilled. And so, I always thought that this particular dream here would be fulfilled after we get nuked or something or attacked. Um, but it could be because of this pipeline, this pipeline shabacle. So... Just keep that in mind. Make sure that you have what you need, that you're good to go. You have enough water and food and that your families are seen about. Do what you can. Please do keep in mind that with everything going on with Israel and Palestine right now, it's so crazy. And they have other pipelines being shut down. They're having problems and it's, it's an all-out war. It's bad right now over there. Um, in uh, mixed neighborhoods, Palestine, Palestines and Israelis and whatnot, they're going at each other. It's pretty bad. So you probably already know that. I'm just trying to say, look, keep in mind, it doesn't take long. That pipeline doesn't get back up. Gas is going to shoot up through the roof and everything else along with it. And this stops food from going to the stores because it's so expensive to drive the food. Our truckers won't be able to afford it. And they won't be able to bring food to the stores. They're not going to be able to afford it. It's not worth it. The loads they're carrying are already decreased because of the corona. 
so they're not even able to carry big 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 shipments over like before which made it worth it they made money on the on the heaviness on the weight and so now for quite some time they've been suffering breaking even or losing money and many have been not working because they can't make money and then now the gas prices are going to go up like crazy because there's such a shortage many aren't going to be able to deliver anything we're going to see barren shelves beyond belief if they don't get that pipeline up and it won't take two and three months it'll take a week if they don't get it if they don't get that pipeline up in a week and one more in one more week we don't even have that long before the end of another week seven days there's gonna be there's gonna be panic buying food store up on your water and make sure you have enough food okay I'm not saying go panic buy I'm not trying to incite panic I'm just saying pray up be ready look think ahead a lot's riding on this whole pipeline thing right now now hopefully it gets put back online everything's great and we go right back to normal normal um low grade trouble like normal the normal stuff hits the fan the slow motion stuff hits the fan just be ready okay i wanted to say this just a heads up it is a it's a red alert because it could be chaos in a week if they don't get this pipeline done it'll be chaos and it could be the fulfillment of that prophetic dream the Lord gave me about shortages, severe panic buying. So I have a feeling it could be, but I don't know everything. And the Lord didn't tell me this is this pipeline. The Lord didn't tell me that this pipeline is why there's panic buying like this, this prophetic dream here. He didn't tell me that. So I can't tell you that this is going to cause that dream to come true right now. But I'm, I'm on the watch. And I want you to be watching too. Okay, so be prayed up and ready. Okay. See you soon.